hello students and welcome to my youtube channel now we are going to understand the material in practical way how to solve the illustration related to material so let's start with material practical sums economic order quantity e o q it is also called as e o q economic order quantity so economic order quantity means what this is the quantity which you can call at a economical level sabse sasta method sabse sasta method abhi wo kaise karte hai the formula is this eoq is equal to square root this is the formula for square root of 2 ao upon c now where we can say that A stand for annual consumption. That annual consumption is also called as annual demand. You can say annual demand. Also, you can say annual purchase. So, annual demand, annual purchases, any anything is called as. Then O stand for ordering cost per order. and c stand for carrying cost per order here we need to understand the concept of ordering cost and carrying cost because these two cost are quite different suppose if we are trying to control ordering cost then the your carrying cost will be high and if you are trying to control carrying cost your ordering cost will be high so first we need to understand what is the meaning of ordering cost ordering cost means the cost which are incurred for placing an order first we said placing an order so order place karne ke liye jo cost aata that is called ordering cost second is cost of transportation to carry the material from one place to another place so that is carriage inward uh, freight in inward so these cost are considered as ordering cost then cost of receiving goods while receiving we are unloading so loading unloading cost are comes under the ordering cost then cost of inspection of goods so inspecting of goods suppose if we are sending one uh, specialized person to inspect the goods that cost the transportation or any other cost of that person is should be considered as ordering cost so ordering cost include cost of placing an order cost of transportation cost of receiving goods cost of inspecting goods student we need to understand this concept for objective type question small objective type question will contain this sort of questions whether this will be the part of ordering cost or not or what is the order a part of ordering cost or again carrying cost carrying means having that goods in our go down in our uh, go down whether uh, including the insurance in, including the storage space rent so carrying cost include the cost of storage place which consists rent then cost of handling material so those who are taking care of that material within that organ uh, go down again the cost of insurance if we are not sure or we need to take a insurance so when the we are paying insurance premium that cost should be considered as carrying cost because you want to safeguard your goods material and then the cost of deterioration or obsolescence deteriorate or obsolescence means wastaging uh, due to any circumstances if it is a perishable or it, it might possible uh, the wastage taken place due to a uh, faulty procedure or uh, the rats uh, who are going to eat your material if it is edible or even if it is not edible they might have uh, tear it or uh, uh, the break breakdown can be possible through them so this sort of losses should consider in the carrying cost so this part we need to understand as for economic order quantity while doing economic order quantity we need to understand this or both the concepts by ordering cost and carrying cost so let's 
use this information in illustration. We'll start with the illustration. This is your illustration. The information is given that calculate EOQ and number of orders to be placed in the year. What is the number of orders? Suppose if we are ordering 100 units in per order to generate annual demand of 1000 units, we need to call this order for repeat this order for 10 times. So in this illustration, annual demand is 12,000 units cost of placing an order that is cost of placing an order single order can be placed at rupees 90 per order 90 rupees and the storage cost of uh, carrying cost per unit per annum per unit is given 15 rupees now they ask you to calculate economic order quantity so eoq so what will be the formula for eoq square root 2AO upon C. So, in this case, we need to understand what is the meaning of A, what is the meaning of O, and what is the meaning of C. Here, A should be considered as 12,000 units, O is 90 rupees, and, and C is 15 rupees. So, this is what the information utilized as per the formula then we need to place the calculation in this calculation we are placing with the formula and with formula we will get an answer so when after placing formula, we'll get information like this. EOQ is equal to square root 2AO upon C. So square root 2 times multiplied by 12,000 A into 90 upon 15. So we'll be getting 3,800 units approximately. This is what and how we can calculate economic order quantity. The next question was, number of orders to be placed as per this if we are demanding 12,000 units per annum we should divide it with 380 and we'll get approximately 32 times so 32 times we need to order our material this is what the economic order quantity we'll move further with next illustration calculate economic order quantity and number of orders to be placed in the year now the information given first is semi annual consumption semi stand for half yearly so half yearly consumption material is 6000 units so we need to multiply it why because in formula we need annual consumption then second thing is Cost of placing an order is 45. Purchase price of input unit is 25. And the quarterly carrying cost. Normally, we used to calculate cost per unit per annum. Per unit per annum. Per annum stands for 12 months period. So, quarter is one fourth of the year. So, we need to multiply this 3 with 4. Then we will get actual percentage. That will be 12% of purchasing price 25 so your annual demand will be 12000 units that 6000 multiplied by 2 then ordering cost will be 45 and carrying cost will be 12% of 25 is rupees 3 so this information needs to be updated then only we can place any formula so after updating that information we place this formula Economic order quantity is equal to square root 2AO upon C. So here 2 times A is 12,000 and O is 45 upon C is 3. So economic order quantity will be 600 units. Now the next question arises, the number of orders to be placed. So for a year, it will require 12,000 units. For a year, it will require 12,000 units. 
and we are placing order 600 units at a time. So A upon Q is equal to 12,000 upon 600 is equal to 20 times. So this is what the economic order quantity is. So as per this formula, we are finding out the best part of economic order quantity, which help us to uh, purchase material at economical rate. Now we move further for the next concept of ABC analysis. Now ABC is stand for, these are three elements that uh, classification of material is taken place with ABC analysis. So ABC classification of analysis is a system of inventory control. It helps to control different items of stores classified on the basis of investment involved. So investment means the amount invested in uh, the pricing invested into that is considered for analysis. Usually the items are divided into three categories according to their importance, namely their value and frequency of replenishment. Replenishment means reordering or you, we can say that uh, buying again and again. So A category, category A of goods consists only a small percentage that is about 10% of total items handled by the stores because the, it requires heavy investment about 70% of the inventory value because of the high price of heavy requirements. We can see it on this graph. I'm trying to make it small one to understand the concept. I hope this is visible. I'm drawing it horizontally. So here, this is a table in the following graph known as a Pareto analysis graph. Value of item in inventory as per percentage and the cumulative number of items in inventory as a percentage. Here, this is your class A material, which contain only 10% of the total quantity and which contain 75% of the overall value. Suppose you have 1000 rupees value material, overall materials cost is 1000. Out of that 700 will be engaged in class A. In case of B category, of this item relatively less important, they may be 20% of the total items of material, 20% of the total material handled by store and the percentage of investment required is about 20% of total investment in inventory. So this sort of information is given. That means it contains 20% value and 20% quantity base, which is quite middle made moderate and the c category items do not require much investment it may be about 10 percent of total inventory value but they are nearly 70 percent of the total item handled store so cost whether cost is less but the quantity is much more so this is called abc analysis 